If we're still in the screenshot view, we can go to the list view under the uh, this window here, and we can select the Vision Res BOM, and we'll hop back into our actual model. And so once we're there, we can select the home view. Again, it'll reset your model view the way that we originally have it and cut out any sections that we might have. Now we're going to start to actually add some 3D markups. So the first markup that we're going to do, we're going to go to our markup and measure tab. Some of these things have been grayed out because we can't use them for 3D markups, but we can still use something like length. So if I select the length tool, using holding down my middle mouse wheel, I can pan and zoom. I'm going to select this uh, bottom edge of the slab. It will turn yellow. Then I can use my view cube, spin around this side, and I can select the bottom part of this foundation. Once I have that, I can place in a uh, area, and it will come in like so. I want to take another dimension. I can spin around to the back half of my house. Maybe I want to view the underside. And I can select that same length tool. I can select one edge of the foundation and maybe the underside of my uh, freeze board. And so you can begin to snap two different objects and take length uh, commands just to verify that that all works. If uh, we wanted to make a, another type of mark, I'm going to use my view cube and navigate to the front of my house. And maybe I want to uh, tell the, you, the drafter to move this Rolock course down. Rolock soldier, Rolock course. I can select the rectangular callout button. Let's select that uh, brick and then type in that that needs to be lowered uh, 8 inches. So we can uh, put in those 3D markups as we see fit. If uh, we've already saved our view of our kitchen, say we want to go back to that view, I'm going to select that view, select kitchen, and it'll get us back with those section cuts back into our kitchen. And I'll select that call outs. I'll select the sink, and I'll tell the modeler that we want a triple sink in our kitchen. Once we have all that, we could uh, go back to any of our markups. If we go back to our markup tab and select like a tag like lowered 8 inches, it will hop back straight back to the tag at the place at which we put it, or try select that triple sink. It will go back to that view so we don't have to navigate all the way back. Now, if I go back to my home view, I still have all these tags here. Uh, what I can now do is go to the model tab here on the left side, and minimize any of these things. And what I'm going to do is select the slab objects and I'm going to hide them. So I hid the OSB on top of my roof. And I can also change other transparencies of different items. Like I can select my roof object. I can right mouse click it. And I could select uh, transparent. And I'll make that roof somewhat transparent we can go to the back part of our house. We can just make one object at a time and we can hide those. So I can select, it, say, this brick wall, right mouse click and select hide. It'll hide that wall. I can do the same thing with uh, this jip board wall. I can select that, hide that as well. And we can also move objects out just to verify what's going on with them. So uh, what we can do is go to the tools tab in our ribbon. We can select the move and rotate button. and We can select an object like our dishwasher and we can drag that out so we can further investigate something or we can pull out maybe one of these cabinets or this cooktop. So 
you can drag out any of these objects to get used to the fact that you can actually kind of disassemble the model just for uh, saving purposes. But once we've done that, and maybe we want to put those things back in, we can use the undo command or control Z at the same time and undo those uh, features of pulling that stuff out. So once we have that, we can make sure we save our drawing and we can move on to the next exercise.